simulate the feeling of stifling a yawn when you when you're talking to someone and you feel a yawn coming on and you're trying not to be rude and you keep that yawn inside that's the perfect position internally for singing everything about that is the right shape and internal posture for singing you can sort of simulate it by breathing through your nostrils of NG sound. on the Adams family that's just a hand is that cousin it for a second and let's sing happy birthday to Jane. She had a birthday recently. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy Birthday. Uh, I shall mute you again. 
Now we're gonna do, instead of nay, 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 let's do this one. Let's do. As nasal as you can. Try to get that nasally sound. Welcome everyone if you're just joining us. So try this. The diff there's, there's, there's two approaches to singing an a vowel. One is one is sounds like the word cat, a, and one sounds like the word ant, ant. You hear there's a subtle difference. The ant the ant version has the nasal placement in it that we want for our singing. The word ca a doesn't have that or not as much so when we, i'm going to have us sing an a vowel now but i want you to think of it as the word ant so it's going to sound like this ant. Ant. so it's an a with a lot of nasal in it Think of ant the whole time. And the reason we do that is that causes the sound to vibrate up higher in our head. The ah sound tends to make it more of a mouth thing. And we don't want the resonance to only be in the mouth. We want it to be in the mouth and the nasopharynx. So this vowel ant gets it there. And, 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 and. I find that when I when I sing things through this placement, everything is easier for me. All the gear shifts that my voice goes through, all the normal problems I have vocally, are made smaller by singing with this direction in my sound. And anytime I can add "ass" to my sound things get better for me. So maybe they will for you too. And, and. Now let's do lip buzz tongue trill. Does anybody
anybody doing the raspberry yet? Is anybody able to do that one? Yeah, a couple of you, good. By the way, the number of people that we have in the rehearsal is spilling over onto a second screen that I can't see. So if you have a question and you raise your hand and I don't see you, it might be that you're on the second screen. I can't really tell who's on that. So you might have to unmute and just interrupt me or send me a message in the chat. I can see, you know, 20, how many can I see at once? Five times five, is that 25 I can see at once? I guess I'm one of the pictures, so I'm seeing 24 of you at once. Uh, what were we doing? Uh, yes? Question? Oh. album in the 70s, I think, the title of which was What Once Were Vices, Now Are Habits. I can't remember the name of the group. Maybe maybe one of you can. But I think of that every time I see you guys logging on. What what once was strange is now common, the, the notion of, of gathering online for a rehearsal. And seeing you all doing these tongue trills and lip buzzes like, yeah, we do this every day. It's not even weird anymore. <laughs> flying over here. That's up to an A. Here we go. Nice and short, not a big sound. that for me my voice is already transitioning even though we're only on a C my voice is already transitioning into a mix I'm not waiting until I get up here where I have a proper break around about F is where you know a lot of tenors have their break around an F maybe sopranos do too I'm not waiting until I get to F to change gears. I'm starting to thin my sound and mix my sound well, well before F so that when I get to F, I'm already transitioned. Let's go back down. See if you can start to sense when your voice wants to either flip into head voice or if you can start to experience mix. Bup, 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 bup. So for me, that's still 100% chest voice. Each person's going to be different. Bup, 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 bup,
Um, so I'm already, this is already a different musculature for me. It's something, it's not 100% chest voice anymore. I'm starting to get thinner and starting to mix in my lighter muscles. Some people describe it as an hourglass. The chest voice is big. And then there's like an experience of a narrowing in the transition notes. And then it can get big again once you get into full head voice or full mix. saying my chat says the host has it turned off i can't do it unless someone else starts it hmm. I, I mean i don't mean to interrupt but if you knew what was wrong i'd be grateful that's okay i don't know i don't know how i have control of your chat participant can chat with everyone when i, when I click um, paul uh, paul Yes. This is Anne. Yes. Uh, it's Anne Feaster. Um, Annette, I found um, that if you if you um, go to view, uh, I don't know if you're on a, a Mac or a PC or what, but can't hear you, Annette. So anyway, if if you go to if you go to view in the upper right hand corner, this is on a PC. Yeah. And you. This is on a PC, and 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 you uh, you change it from full screen to not full screen, and it'll make okay. a small window. Make it; it'll make a small window. Then click the three dots and click chat. Okay, got it. Thanks. And then and and then go back to full screen. Then you'll see the chat on the side. Thank you. Pardon very much. Okay, bye. Great. Pardon me for interrupting, Paul. Thank. Uh so Teal just told me that she she's able to see 49 people on her screen. Uh, oh, 49. There we go. Now I can see everybody. Thank you, Teal, for that. Okay, still learning stuff. Now let's do uh, this last one. Mm -hmm. Gentle NG with the mouth mostly closed. Next, somebody's going to tell me that the light comes on automatically in my refrigerator when I open it, and that it close that it turns off automatically when I close it. So funny, some of you laughed and some of you are like this. I wish I knew back then what I know now about singing. I, if, if I had known half the stuff I know now when I was a teenager or in my 20s, I'd be much better. So this is a this is a transition note for me, a D. My my voice wants to kind of yell that using a hundred percent chest muscles, but my voice is also starting to tell me, hey, you know what? You should mix that note because the big break is coming three notes later, and if you wait three notes, then you'll be in trouble. So listen to what happens. My voice my voice doesn't quite know what to do. Mm -hmm. So 
so if I send it more breath energy, I can sort of get it to flip over. But if I don't prepare that note well, it the chord it's confused as to what muscles to use. So some of you might have notes like that too. Okay. I was wondering about the where our tongue is when we do that. Mm. So the best the best place in general for our tongue is to lie flat and stay out of the way. But when we start singing words, the tongue kind of does what it wants to because certain vowels and consonants require the tongue to be in different positions like an e vowel e the tongue wants to go up and back a little bit so it has to it has to when we start singing words but in general we want our tongue to be as relaxed and out of the way as possible we just have to try to do that while singing words which is one of the major challenges of singing. We do all these exercises on a neutral syllable and then we put words in the mix and everything changes. Okay, let's do uh, a Christmas Gloria. Has anybody started um, listening to the rehearsal tracks and learning and are you liking the music? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, I have, but I have a question. Um, when I go into YouTube channel and put in Sounds Good Choir, it only shows two of the songs. So what else should I put in? Here, I'm going to show you. I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to yeah. show you how to get there. Where's the share button now? Does it not let me? Thank you. Yeah, here we go. Share screen. So that everybody knows, we're going to go to YouTube. And I'm going to type in Sounds Good Choir. Okay. And it's this one right here with this with this logo. Okay. And there's. And there they all are. Yep. Thank you, Paul. So there should be about 80 of them that I made. Okay. <laughs> about, about 10, about 10 per, per song or eight per song. Took me forever. Thank you. Um, but there's, there's, I think there might be two sounds good channels. I don't know what happened back when they first yeah, met. There are. Yeah. So if you go to the other channel, I don't know what's there, but it's the one that has the green lettering and the logo and so forth. Is there another question? I, I have a comment. I, oops, I found that the, is it Ece Novum? Yeah. That the tenor isolated when you go to the website, when you point to that, it points to an HTML. So I notified uh, Julie and see if they're going to fix it. So the, the pointer is wrong into that one. So if you're using the, um, uh, the, the um, not webs, if you're not using Zoom, if you're using the website, it points you no place. But that's the only one I found that was. You, you, mean, you mean not YouTube? Not YouTube. Okay. YouTube's, I think, a lot funny. Okay, so that I don't know what's uh, I send them the MP3s and they do the uploading thing. So I don't right. know what happened, but thank you for telling them that because then they know <laughs> that it's broken and they can fix it. Right. And, so, and Teal, I I have had that same problem too. So I'm glad you told them. Thanks. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, but so it should the you, all the YouTube videos should function perfectly. If they don't, let me know and I'll fix it right away. Okay, I'm gonna mute you guys and we'll continue with a Christmas Gloria. Uh, here we go. Right at the beginning, everybody on the melody, please, because we all sing it at some point. Everybody on the melody at the beginning, just for now. One, ready, go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Heaven, we're just going to immediately close. Heaven, I need to put on my glasses for a little bit clearer view of things. Once again, everybody on the melody at the beginning. One, ready, go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. 
Then the basses and tenors continue with the same melody. Last measure, top of three. One, ready, go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Off. Just that much again. Then we'll work on the alto part separately. One from the beginning, one, ready, go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. To us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Off. Altos, let me hear you at the beginning because you actually have a different part. Altos, right at measure seven. One, ready, go. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to To us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now is come from heaven. Off. Once again, altos, a little bit slower. One, two, three. Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to a son is given who now is come from heaven. Mm. Then the basses and tenors have the melody like we've already done. Altos, let's continue working on your part now at 16. The ooh. Right at 16, altos. One, two, go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. The ah part is kind of cool, altos, because each of those notes gets two counts, but we're in three, four. So it ends up feeling quite syncopated. One, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, one, two, off. I was mistaken. The second note gets three counts, but all the others get two. But since we're in three, four, we get a little turned around. That feels a little bit uh, syncopated. The word is hemiola when, when that happens. Okay, altos, let's go again at 16, please. Altos at 16. One, ready, and. Sopranos, let me hear you please at 16. Sopranos at 16. One, two, three. Ooh. working on uh, a Christmas Gloria. Welcome, by the way. Okay, sopranos and altos together. 16. Here's the alto, soprano. One, two, three. Boom. have the basses and tenors bring us in. So basses and tenors, let's have you start last bar, top of three. Glory to God on high. And then the altos and sopranos will come in on their oohs. I will play the alto and soprano, but I'm going to sing with the tenors and basses. One, ready, go. 
Glory to God on high, on the earth be peace and goodwill to all. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, who now has come from heaven. Make sense, sort of? Let's go back and do the first two pages in their entirety. And I will just sing with the basses and tenors when they come in, but I'll play the women, the soprano and alto parts. Here's the soprano and alto starting at seven. One, two, three. move on now I will show you top of four I put a repeat sign can you see what I wrote in here because we are gonna actually repeat back to the top of four in just a minute it's not I put it that way on the rehearsal tracks but it's like an edited version of the song so here's what's gonna happen we're gonna sing page four we're gonna sing page five to the first ending after the first ending, we're adding two measures to let you catch your breath. And then it goes back to top of four and we sing verse one again in Spanish. I'll say that one more time. We sing page four, we sing page five to the first ending. We add two measures as a little interlude. This is all reflected in the rehearsal tracks, by the way. We add two measures as an interlude. Then we repeat back to top of four and we sing verse one in Spanish. The second time we get to page five, we're going to take the first ending again. This time we're going to go back to the repeat the way it's written, which is way back to the beginning of the song. And we're going to sing all that again. Now we're at page four. The third time we're going to sing verse two. We're going to take the first ending. There's a little two measure interlude to let you catch your breath. Then we're going to sing verse two in Spanish. This time when we get to page five, we take the second ending and we keep going. It's actually a shorter song form than what is written, believe it or not. The song is super long. If you do it the way it's written, it's actually longer than what I just described to you. So I'll say it once more because there's likely to be confusion. There won't be once we start rehearsing it because I'll direct you where to go. But we sing it from the beginning, page one, page two, page three. We get to page four. Sing verse one, English words, page four, page five. We get to the first ending on page five. We add two measures to give you a chance to see where the heck we're going. And we're gonna repeat back to top of four and sing verse one in Spanish, Angeles Celestiales. Then we get to the first ending again on page five this time we go back to the beginning of the song the way it's written and we do all that part again page two three page four now we're top of four we're going to sing verse two in english we get to the first ending we add two measures to give us a breather we go back to top of four and sing second verse in spanish Then we take the second ending on page five and finish the song as written. 
it sort of makes sense once you get into it. It might seem a little confusing to hear me describe it in words that way. But once we start rehearsing it, and I, I'm reminding you. So here we Excuse me, Paul. Paul yeah. would, you, would you be able to put that in an e email? Maybe have Julie send that out in an email so that if people who are, who are missing here, you know. Uh, sure. It's on Thank the. You. It's on the rehearsal tracks that way, but I, I can certainly ask her to do that too. Okay, so now we're top of four and the, suddenly the key changes to a major key. We've been in D minor. Has that kind of a feel to it, like a, like a Spanish guitar or Mexican guitar. Now it's in major key. Let's hear the, um, let's everybody sing the melody just so we can learn it. Ready, go. Oh, hear the heavenly angels, their joyful tidings tell. This child is Christ our Savior, Jesus Emmanuel. Just that much again. That's the melody, which the sopranos have and the basses and tenors have. The altos never get to sing that, but I wanted you to learn it anyway. Ready, go. Oh, hear the heavenly angels, their joyful tidings tell. This child is Christ our Savior, Jesus Emmanuel. Let's learn the alto part. One, ready, go. Oh, hear the heavenly angels, their joyful tidings tell. This is our Savior, Jesus Emmanuel. One more time, altos. One, ready, go. Oh, hear the heavenly angels, their joyful tidings tell. With the sopranos. One, ready, go. And you're going to be singing it in Spanish in just a minute. No big deal, right? Hey, basses and tenors, let's hear you please at 27, oh, one, ready, go. This child is Christ our Savior, Jesus Emmanuel. Just that little piece of melody. So let's do the whole thing, whole page. Here's the alto, soprano, top of four, oh, one, ready, go. intuitive right it's very pretty it's it's the a piano accompaniment kind of imitates a guitar like a um, mariachi okay let's continue now last measure bottom of four it goes back to minor and it sounds like this interlude top of four again and Spanish does that make sense so let's learn this next little section let's start with the bases last measure bottom of four this is measure 31 bases one ready go Gloria in excel sorry it should be excel C's not some of us were taught to sing eggshell, but Jonathan wants it to be eggshell in this particular song. One, 
Ready, go. Moria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. First measure, um, dum, dum, dum. second measure, jing, jung, jing, jung, Spanish. One more time, basses. Last measure, bottom of four, a one. Ready, go. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. Mm. Tenors, let's hear you. One. Ready and Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. More time, tenors. Ready, go. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. Basses and tenors together. Here's the bass, here's the tenor. One. By the way, this little Gloria section gets repeated a whole bunch of times, so once you learn it, it's the same every time until the very end. One, ready, go. Altos, let's learn your part at the Gloria. Alto, one, two, three. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. Once again, altos, two, three. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. One measure, ching, chung, chung, two measures, and, and Spanish, chung, 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 chung. Sopranos, let's learn your part, please. One, two, three. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria, Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. Once again, Sopranos. Gloria in excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. Excelsis, Gloria, Gloria. All the parts at the Gloria section. This is really beautiful. Uh, bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Oh, one, two, three. Let's do the whole of page four and page five up to the first ending. This is still in English. Okay, here's the top of page four, alto, soprano. One, ready, go. Okay, 
So I'm going to stop right there because we have other songs to rehearse, but that's kind of giving, giving you a sense. Starting this week in live and um, online rehearsals, we'll start uh, cracking down the Spanish. Okay? But we're, that's, that's basically all the notes of this song. Everything, everything else in the song is going to be um, repeated information except for the Spanish. Yes, Annette? Um, what is the exact form of this song? A, B, A, or uh, A, B, A, C? <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure exactly. Okay. Moving Good on. Part. Carol of the Bells, please. So I know you guys have probably all sung a version of this song. Uh, there's there's one in particular that's that's commonly done. That's S A T B a cappella. This is not that one. This is mostly S A B, and it's accompanied. So it's a little different, at least for me. In my live rehearsal at Arlington Heights on uh, Wednesday, the Sopranos, they sang all the way through it first time because the soprano part is the same that they're used to singing. Sopranos, let's start with you. And then you're gonna sit for a minute while we learn the new parts. But with Sopranos, we'll go kind of all the way through, right where you sing, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, go cares away, Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old, meek and the bold, ding dong, ding dong, that is their song, with joyful ring, all caroling, one seems to hear, words of good cheer, from everywhere, filling the air, oh how they found, Raising the sound, oh, hail and dell, tell in the tale, gaily they ring, while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here, merry, 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 merry Christmas, merry, 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 merry Christmas. On, on they send, on without end, their joyful tone to every home. Hark how the bells, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away. So that's all familiar if you're a soprano and you've sung this before. So let me give you a couple of notes, sopranos. The way it's marked is long, short, short, short. You see that? It's got a little marking over it. Long, short, 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 long, short, short, short. And it's that way. It's that way the whole time. You see on the last measure of page three, above the word bringing, it has the word simile. You see that? That means to continue the markings the way they've put them. Instead of them writing those markings on the entire song, they write them on four measures and then they write simile. It just means continue doing it that way. So let me give you some breath marks from Jonathan, please. Sopranos, breathe after, throw cares away. So it's going to be, hark how the bell, sweet silver bells, all seem to say, throw cares away and breathe. The next breath for sopranos and altos is at the end of 16. So top of four, at the end of the second measure, Jonathan would like the altos and sopranos to catch a breath there. Now, as I'm telling you this, it doesn't mean you can't breathe other places if you're about to fall over, but this is where we want the group to breathe, you know, on purpose together. So after the second bar, top of four, that's measure 16. Then everybody breathe at the end of 20. That's the last measure, middle of four. Everybody breathe there, please. I mark my breaths with a little comma. That's how I was taught to do it, but you can do it however you want. Here's, here's, uh, here's what mine look like. Uh, can you see those three commas there that I wrote? That's how my teacher taught me to mark a breath, but if you want to, what, however you want to do it, it doesn't matter. Okay, top of five, at the end of the first bar, measure 24, at the end of that measure, everybody breathe. At the end of 28, everybody breathe. 
By the way, these are four bar phrases, which is a common place to breathe. The end of 28, breathe. At the end of 32, breathe, which is the last bar of five. Go ahead and breathe. Top of six. The sopranos are going to breathe at the end of the second bar, top of six. Let's measure 34. Merry, merry. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Breathe. Merry, 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 merry Christmas. Breathe. So sopranos get two bars there. Altos and bass baritones, you're going to breathe at, at the end of the last bar, top of six, which is measure 35. So the breathing is a little bit different per section there. And then everybody breathe at the end of 40. Okay. Now, having said that, once we start doing this song at the performance tempo, all the breath management changes because we're, right now we're rehearsing it slow. So you're going to run out of breath in different places, but that's where that's the notes we got from Jonathan. Okay, let's go back now. Altos, you come in four bars after sopranos. Is that right? Let me see here. My page is not turning. Here. Yeah, you come in four bars later than the soprano. So they have. Is the alto right there? Here we go. Alto is right where you sing. Well, one, two, three. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. By the way, I'm sustaining on the ng, the ng sound. Mm, not the. I'm not going ding, dong, ding, dong. I'm closing right away to the ng sound. So it sounds like a bell. Here we go, altos. A one, two, three, ready, and sing. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they found raising their sound, or hill and dell telling their tale. Gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding. Let's go back to the part that's a little bit harder, altos. <clears throat> Let's start top, the bottom of four altos, one seems to hear. Sopranos, if you want to sing along with us, that's fine. Here's your part. Now we're bottom of four, measure 21, altos. One, two, three, ready, and go. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they found raising their sound. Oh, hill and dale telling their tale. Daily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding. Repeats right back to the first page. So, Altos, you have four measures to flip your page back and come in the same place you did before. Sopranos don't have that luxury. They got to be ready right away. Okay, bass baritones, let's hear you, uh, basses and tenors. You guys come in top of four. You're eight measures after the sopranos and four measures after the altos. It makes musical sense, the staggered entrance. But let's start there. Ba uh, basses and tenors, top of four, last bar. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ding, dong, ding, dong. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how they pound, raising the sound, or hill and dell, telling their tale. Gaily they ring, while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here. Ding, ding, dong, ding. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong. And then you've got 
eight measures to get ready for your, your repeat entrance. One more time, bases and tenors. Top of four, last measure. to hear words of good cheer from everywhere filling the air oh how they pound raising the sound o'er hill and dale telling their tale gaily they ring while people sing songs of good cheer christmas is here ding ding dong ding ding So let's, let's try a real quick put it together and then we're going to move on to another song because this is one of the easier ones and I need to spend more time on the ones that are more difficult. This is one that you can probably learn almost exclusively with the rehearsal track. Let's see how we do just one time through. Sopranos lead us in and, and altos four measures later. A one, two, three, one, ready, go. Sort of makes sense. So I was trying to grab three three staves, open score, and turn pages. So I missed a few things. How did you do? You, you kind of feel like you're going to get it. I think this is one of the easier ones. And the beauty of the YouTube rehearsal tracks is that you can slow them down. Okay. For the sake of time, we're going to move on. Let's look at a wreath of carols. I'm just going to remind you, if you feel a little overwhelmed or have that feeling of, oh boy, how am I ever going to learn this? I'll just remind you that every semester you do learn it. Every semester you tackle difficult music and you learn it by the time we have our concert. And for better or worse, the fact that we've done Luke's Eterna, I'm just going to always bring that up and say, hey, you guys did Luke's Eterna online, so don't complain. Actually, what I should say is not don't complain. I should say don't don't worry because you learned what I think is one of the most difficult pieces. And and most of what we're doing, if not everything, is less difficult than that, in my opinion. Here we go. Sopranos and altos right where you sing a one two a one and a two i saw three ships come sailing in on christmas day on christmas day i saw three ships come sailing in on christmas day in the morning bases and tenors will stay on christmas day So there's a little bit of a tricky spot, sopranos and altos, the very last two notes that you sing are elongated, so you might not be expecting that. Look with me at top of four, sopranos and altos. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. That holds out. One more time, and then we'll work on the, the SATV parts, uh, top of five. We'll, we'll work on that in just a second. Here we go, right where you sing, first page, sopranos and altos, one, 
to ready sing. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morning. In those ships, all three, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. And we'll stop right there. And now we'll work on the parts. Let me hear the basses. And what was in those ships all three? Uh, here we go, basses. Pickups to top of five. And what was in one, two, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? If anybody were to ask you, what does a bass line sound like? You could say that. That's like the most perfect uh, stereotypical bass line. It's so beautifully written. Here we go, basses. Two, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Mm. Tenors, let me hear you, please. Two, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? That's kind of a typical tenor line too, isn't it? Here we go, tenors, two, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Basses and tenors together. Two, a ready, go. Makes me feel happy and Christmassy. Altos, two, a ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Sounds like an alto part. Same thing again, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? Basses and tenors, if you want to sing along, that's great. Out, uh, sopranos, let me hear you. You're, you have the melody, but let me hear you anyway. Two, ready, go. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day in the morning? All the parts together. Bass, tenor, alto, soprano, two, ready, go. And off. From the beginning that far. Isn't that pretty? It's beautiful writing. From the beginning, two, a ready, go. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morn. What was in those ships, all three? My, my, piano, my piano just stopped working, sorry. So but let me just say this, uh, sopranos and altos, when you get to the end of your phrase, Christmas day in the morning. Mm. The ning has to hold out for a whole measure. Christmas day in the morning. Off. So you overlap with the first measure of the basses and tenors. Sorry about that. My, I don't know why my, my keyboard just suddenly stopped working. Let's go top of four. I saw three ships. Sopranos and altos lead us in. Ready, go. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day in the morn. And what was in those ships all three on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day? And... Basses keep going. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Darn it. Sorry, folks. My keyboard is sort of randomly cutting it out. I don't know why. It's a it's a it's a software keyboard. It's not. I'm playing it on a I'm playing it down here, but the sound is coming from an app. 
That's weird. Uh, Basis, let me hear you, please. On on Christmas Day. Ready, go. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day. I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Once again, basses. What a great bass line. Makes me wish I was a bass. Two. Ready, go. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Tenor, same spot. I'm starting at pickups to 27. This is like the last note in the middle of five. Tenor, two, ready, go. On Christmas Day. On Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Off. Once again, tenors. Two. Ready. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Off, basses and tenors together. Two, ready, go. Two, ready, I love playing bass clef with my right hand. Altos. Two, ready, go. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day. Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Off, altos again. Two, ready, go. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Bottom three parts. Bass, tenor, alto. Two, ready, go. Two, ready, off. Sopranos, two, ready, go. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. Sopranos again, two, two, ready, go. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, I saw three ships come sailing in on Christmas Day. All the parts, bass, bass, tenor, alto, soprano. One, two, ready, go. Two, three, off. Okie doke. There's obviously a lot more to that medley, but I want to kind of touch on as many songs as possible today just to give us a sense of what's coming. So let's move on to a midwinter carol. A midwinter carol is a new melody for the lyrics um, in the bleak midwinter. Maybe move back a little bit. Here we go. Starts with basses and tenors, top of three. One, two, three. In the bleak midwinter, frosty. for 
fun. Again, let's just do the basses all the way through. Basses, one, top of three. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind made warm. Lady sing, ching, 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 Here, now we're at 15 basses. And silent snow had fallen. Snow on snow in the bleak midwinter. One, two, three, long, so long ago. Bases at fifteen, please. This is top of four bases. One, ready. Go. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow, in the bleak midwinter. One, two, three, long, so long ago. Tenor, same spot, 15. One, ready, go. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow, in the bleak midwinter. Long, so long ago. Once again, tenors, a one. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow, in the bleak midwinter, long, so long ago. Basses and tenors at 15. Here's the bass, here's the tenor. Sopranos and altos, here's your notes if you want to sing along. So here's the bass, here's the tenor, here's the alto, soprano, focusing on the tenor. One, two, three. piece of music. Uh, sopranos, let me hear you please. Bottom of three is your first entrance. Earth stood hard as iron. Boy, Christina Rossetti could write some words, couldn't she? So much of her poetry has been set because it's so beautifully written and it's so easy to set. It's like the perfect combination of words and rhythms. Um, but you'll see her name come up a lot as a source for uh, lyrics. Here we go. Bottom of three sopranos. Earth stood hard. One, ready, go. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow. Let's go top of four sopranos. Silent snow had fallen. 
one, ready, go. Silent snow had fallen, snow on snow, in the bleak midwinter. Altos, let me hear you please, bottom of three. Altos, earth stood hard as iron. One, ready, go. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Silent snow had fallen, snow. Melancholy sound, I love it. Altos, bottom of three again. Let's add this. Let's do altos and sopranos together. Bottom of three. Actually, let's just start top of three with the tenors and basses. We'll kind of do this whole section. The first statement of the melody all the way through. Here we go. Basses and tenors, top of three. One, ready, go. In the bleak midwinter, frosty wind may. And. and everybody lovely so the rest of it is you know obviously variations on that but that's kind of the essence of that piece okay last 10 minutes let's spend on Hava Nashira I want to encourage you to listen to the rehearsal tracks um, I realize that if I say that too much, that might have the effect of having you not want to listen to them. If you hear me say it too many times, it's like, ah, uh, he said it too many times. I think if you listen to the rehearsal tracks, it just makes it easier to learn the music because you're hearing the part isolated. You can stop and start when you want. You can do it a hundred times in a row. I just think it's an I think it's easier to learn the parts with the tracks than it is to me teaching you in rehearsal. That's just my own opinion. Um, anyway, Hava Nashira, just repeat after me. Hava Nashira. And the R is flipped. Shira. Ra, but flipped quickly. Havana, those are all the same vowel. Havana, she, it's like S H E E, she, ra. And then the next word, she, is like, it's sort of like the same word again. Instead of she, ra, it's just she, hallelujah. So the whole phrase is, Hava na shira shir That's the whole thing. That's all there is. So we're all going to learn the melody together because everybody sings the melody in this song. It's like a round or a canon. We sing it all together and then we sing it separately, soprano, alto tenor bass. So the parts are labeled part one, part two, part, part three, but we're going to treat them like S-A-B. So the top line soprano, middle line alto, bottom line tenors and basses singing together. 
So let's learn this melody. For now, let's just learn it on la, 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 and then we'll go back and put the Hebrew with it, okay? For now, just sing it on la, la, la. Two, ready, go. La, 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 la. the whole song two pages and then everybody sings it on you know with the parts separate let's do this again just la 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 learning the melody <clears throat> two ready go la 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 Two, let me take a drink of water or something stuck in there. A piece of wood or metal or something, a foreign body, a chicken bone. We had a, we had a Chinese woman that, that worked for our family as, um, she, you know, cooking and cleaning. She, she, she ended up becoming like a member of our family, but she was an amazing cook. And once a week, she would make a gourmet Chinese meal for us like you know five courses or seven courses or something and it comes steaming hot right out of the kitchen into the dining room you know fresh fresh homemade chinese food can you believe that we were spoiled rotten and the fish was you know she would bring the fish out whole and i remember there was bones in it so we had to you know you had to be careful picking through it or you know you get them in your get them in your mouth and you'd have to that was all connected to me having something in my throat that's where that story came from here we go with the hebrew one two ready go Havana, shira, shira. Easy, right? Kind of pretty? Kind of Hebrew? One, two, ready, go. I wonder why composers uh, write the altos and the basses up so high, right? Well, I'll send a letter saying why. Okay, we have five minutes. Let's look briefly at uh, Ecce Novum. We're not going to worry about the Latin just yet. We're just going to sing on do, do, do. We're going to start learning some notes, and then we'll add the Latin starting this week. Anne is asking me in the chat, you lived in Hong Kong? I did for 16 years. I was born there, and I graduated high school there. Okay, uh, basses. Beginning of Ecce Novum, just on U. One. 
Ready, go. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It's got this underneath it. So tenors, you come in four bars after the basses at bar five. Here's the tenor note. One, two, three. tenors basses sing let's have the basses come in first and then the tenors and we'll do the tenors for a minute one ready bass here comes the tenors Let's hear you, please. Your starting note is this, right where you sing altos. A one, ready, and and then altos and tenors together. and tenors. It's going to be real nice with the lyrics. Sopranos, let me hear you please. One, two, three. out for a while. You don't come in till the bottom of four. On the words Virgo, that's where you come back in. Okay, let's try all the parts so far and then we'll call it a day. Here's the bass note. Tenors, when you come in, it's this. Altos, when you come in. Soprano. One, ready, bass. Oh. Everybody come in here and alto and tenor. It's going to be pretty, right? It's long phrases, everybody breathing at different times, so it sounds continuous, and the Latin makes it, makes it even more mysterious, and the overlapping lines, it's lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. 
Uh, Teal says at the end of rehearsal, will you identify the pieces that are considered more difficult? Okay, so Teal is asking which ones are the more difficult ones. I think Ecce Novum is difficult. I think Joy in the Morning is difficult. Uh, I think Christmas Gloria is a little bit difficult because of the Spanish and because of the roadmap. Um, I think a wreath of carols has some tricky spots in it. Plus it's, it's kind of long. It's, it's a medley of four songs. So there's some kind of tricky spots in that one. Uh, midwinter carol is, has some challenging spots. I think the, I think the easy ones are carol of the bells. I think, um, beautiful star of Bethlehem, which we did not get to is on the easier side of things. I think Haman Ashira is on the easier side of things. All of them are a quantum leap easier than Lux Eterna. How about that perspective? Love you guys. Good to see you. Thanks, Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul. Thank listen, you, Paul. listen to your tracks as much as you dare. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Okay. See you next week. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Thanks, Paul. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.